no babies in 2021, okay? So, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I have to go out more, wear less, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm playing, but I'm serious. What y'all think? Let me get a little close so y'all can see what the fuck is up. Okay. Perfect. Period. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your Terry Brianna. If you don't know, now you know, and now we are best friends. Nice to meet you, sis. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And when you do, make sure you turn on your push notifications so you'll never miss a video. And follow me on social media, okay? Okay. I've been coming with the content, you know what I'm saying? But, oh, did I almost give y'all a look? A little nip slip. I don't got time, okay? I thought the 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 robe look was supposed to be nice and sophisticated. I didn't know we were supposed to be doing nothing crazy. Okay, this ain't no only fans over here. But anyways, today I thought let's do a sit down chit chat. Get ready with me. So enough of me rambling for this intro and let's get right into the video. Why are you so far away from me, you know? I'm a little closer, you know what I'm saying? All of the makeup products will either be on the screen or listed in the description box below. I may be doing both. It really depends on how I feel when I'm editing this video. But um, I don't know exactly what look I'm going for, but that's when my makeup comes out the best, to be honest. I'm not gonna talk too much about the products because I wanna talk to you guys about some other things, you know what I'm saying? So, it's kind of hard to explain because basically I've been MIA for a brick, you know? However, now that I'm back posting, it kind of looks like I never took a break to you guys because, girl, I really don't know how to explain it. Okay, so basically I decided that I wanted to take the month of January off. I basically took January off in terms of posting, but I've still been filming content for you guys. What I needed to do was take a break for my mental, take a break to get things situated, take a break to gather content, and to make sure that I go into 2021 strong for the long run. I feel like a lot of people do really, really well in January, and then they slack off, but no, I'm trying to get myself together for the entire year. Y'all so, know how 2020 was. I, I needed a, I needed a, a just a, a minute for myself, you know what I'm saying? Like a little mental break. And when it comes to doing social media full time, that can be a lot on your mental. It feels like I've been gone from y'all for so long because the last time I posted a video was January 6th. So right now it's January 26th. And I am not posting any content until January 31st because I want to post three times a week on my regular schedule, Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So right now, like, let me show you guys, like, by now you've already seen all those videos, you know what I'm saying? But I'm speaking for, like, present times. I have, like, all these videos up here, like, just posted on Unlisted because I'm not putting out no content yet. Ah, it, I feel like I'm a brand new YouTuber. You're preparing yourself for the madness. You're getting all your videos out. You're taking your time with editing so you don't experience burnout. And that's why that break was needed. So, like I said earlier, it's been a minute since I sat down and talked to you guys. So I was like, let me do a chit chat, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm calling this a life update, because not much has happened in terms of like, big stuff you know i feel like when people do a life update they be like i'm in a new relationship i got a new job i bought a new car i sold my house they be talking about like big shit you know and i ain't been doing none of that i've just been grinding doing some things that i can't talk to you guys about yet preparing for 2021 and just getting my mental space together so it's not really a life update but it's definitely a chit chat just to get all the girlies on board, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, one thing that I have not been doing on this break is like beating my face to like the max, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing like calm, everyday looks. So in today's makeup, um, look, I wanna, I wanna play around with color. I wanna play around with liner. 
more liner than color. I'm probably gonna do a colored liner and call it a day, you know what I'm saying? I really haven't been into the eyeshadow in a very, very long time. But yeah, once we do that, I'm gonna do my face. Should I do the liner first and then the face? How does that work? I don't know. You know, I should have plucked my brows before I did this, but I actually plan on like waxing parts of my face. So I definitely want to wax my upper lip and um around my eyebrows. So if I would have did it before this video, it would definitely have made this process a little bit easier to do. But I didn't want to risk my face being irritated before applying makeup. But y'all, if you see my mustache, just disregard, okay? Like, don't nobody need to know, okay? So, yeah, y'all, let me talk to you guys about some of the things that I have been doing on that little break you with, okay? Um, I've been trying my best to take care of my skin. I got a little, I got some breakouts right now because of my cycle. So, that's gonna happen. Like, it's really not much I can do when it comes to... Being on my cycle and getting my acne, girl. She does whatever she wants to do, but you know, <laughs> no babies until this other one, okay? So, I'm, I'm not even gonna, I ain't even concerned about that, okay? But I've been trying to take better care of my skin. Um, and I created an entire workout schedule for myself. I'm like so excited to get started, you guys. Okay, so when it comes to me, I am very much so organized. I love a schedule. I love a planner, okay? Um, give me an agenda all day, every day. And it's really been helping me. So I haven't started my workout journey. And I know y'all have probably seen a lot of workout videos on my channel in the past, right? So here's what I would do. I would go to the gym like two, three weeks straight. And then I'll stop for like a whole month and lose all the progress that I made. But this year, I'm not doing that, okay, honey? We are working out constantly because... Huh. To be honest, I'm tired of having a teenager body. Like, that's what I feel like I have. I feel like I have a teenager's... <sighs> do I want to do my face first? Or do I want to do the outlook first? Okay, I know I just, like, cut myself off and literally stopped talking about what I was talking about. But I'm getting confused right now because I jumped into applying my primer because that's the next step in, like, my regular uh, routine. But it's like, dang, today I'm trying something new. I want to play around with white eyeliner. So it's like, do you do that eyeliner before or after your face makeup? Literally, I like don't know what to do. Let me show y'all the color. So I want to play around with the NYX Vivid Bright Color Liquid Liner. Like this side is cute. And I also have the NYX, the same one in white. I'm going to do my face first. And if it come out fugly, all's well. Because that's just, that's my routine. And I'm over here talking about how I stick to schedules and how... I stick to things that are set in stone. I'm a very stuck in my ways type of person, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes. It depends on what situation we're talking about. But I'm gonna do my face first just because I also need to build the courage to do this liner look because I haven't done liner in so long. So oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Girl, they dropped that beauty blender. Oh heck no, this is going on my face. <laughs> This is going on my face, like, what is really good? Okay. So, anyways, Jatira, gather yourself, okay? What I was trying to say before I was figuring all of this stuff out was I have created an entire schedule for myself, and so far, so good, okay? Now, when I tell y'all I've created a schedule for myself, girl, I already had an uploading schedule. So basically, I film around that schedule. I work out around that schedule. I do everything around my YouTube schedule. So I am now going to start going to the gym starting this Thursday. I'm gonna start going to the gym Mondays and Thursdays. And I'm so excited. I know exactly when I'm gonna do cardio. I know exactly when I'm gonna do upper body. And I know exactly when I'm gonna do leg day. I'm tired of looking like a 12 year old when it comes to my body. Like what? I want to look like the grown woman that I am. 
And I'm excited. I'm going to film once I get um, used to the schedule, when I get in a groove. I'm going to film it for y'all so y'all can see what's going on with the girl over here. Y'all going to see the games. And I'm actually really excited because I got to get ready for all these trips that I'm going on. So, let's talk about it. Basically, we all know 2020, we barely went places because of COVID. And it sucked. And it's just like, I want to make sure that I'm safe. I want to make sure that I'm putting my health first. But sometimes, many times throughout um, 2020, I felt damn near depressed because we couldn't go nowhere. We couldn't do anything. We couldn't go nowhere. We couldn't do anything. It just felt terrible. And I don't like that feeling. So, yeah, I am planning to take some trips. I feel like hopefully things are going to get better really soon, especially that we have a new president and we don't have no whack-ass individual in the White House anymore. Hopefully things get themselves together really quickly. Um, so we can go back to living our lives, sweetie. So... If y'all watch my recent vlogs, y'all will know that I just got my passport situated. Um, basically did application, took my picture, and I'm excited. I'm planning on going a lot of different places. You know, I'm turning 24 this year. I have never been out of the country, hence just now getting my passport. Um, and I want to live life, okay? I know y'all saw that I went to... Um, Back in February, before COVID started, I had went to New York. That was the first trip of many that I thought I was going to take. And then COVID happened, so I was only able to go to New Orleans and Atlanta after that. And those was like, I had planned to go to New Orleans in April, but then everything happened. And Atlanta was a out of nowhere trip for me with my boyfriend but this year i plan on going some places okay and when i go to them places my body gonna look right period it's it's my kobe year you know what i'm saying i have to i have to i have to do better i have to live more i have to go out more wear less you know what i'm saying <laughs> i'm playing but i'm serious <laughs> uh -huh. and oh i'm loving this color and this coverage right now Lately, I have been mixing the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop with the KISS um, Full Coverage Concealer and Toffee. And this is in Mahogany, I believe. And it creates the perfect color and the perfect consistency for what I like in a foundation. It's, I'm living for it, okay? Oh my God, y'all. I got this candle burning right now. It smells so good. I don't even know if I can show you. I can't show you. <laughs> It's hot, but it's the pineapple mango from um Bath and Body Works. Yeah, it smells too good. Like it got me in my zone right now. I'm in my black robe. I'm putting on my my face. I feel shit. This why I'm making me feel sexy as fuck. <laughs> Y'all life tick when you're doing your makeup and if you like swatch things on your hand and stuff automatically take it off once you're done because y'all one time i went out and i forgot that i had like put my foundation pumps on my hand before i put it on my skin y'all went out with a, a a musty dusty looking ass hand and i was sick boots i didn't know this until i went to the bathroom i was like oh oh i was sick another life hack if you use um a thick edge control and you do your hair before your makeup like myself take a q-tip and go around your edges i didn't do that in this video but like i will usually go around my edges just to get the access before putting on my foundation on my head on my forehead because the foundation sticks on top of the edge control and it looks cakey and like you can see my stuff looks Seamless besides my edge control cross thing, but you know, it looks good. So what else has been going on with me, y'all? I've been heavy on TikTok lately, which is why you probably see me doing my my makeup like this. Or everybody doing it like that on TikTok. Everything is a trend, yo. I swear, like once one person said this thing is beneficial or this thing is cool, everybody be doing it. Mm, and I'm included in everybody. I'm not gonna lie, this little this little makeup pack, it does it does the girl 
well okay because it's just like lately i've been wanting to look instead of like concealer here 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 don't know why i need all that i just need a you know what i'm saying we're gonna be cute like guys so let's blend this out but before doing so just make sure that we spray her make sure make sure that we spray her yes ma'am okay it's the coverage and the color match for me what i want y'all to do is comment down below what kind of videos y'all want from me because i already had my entire february schedule completed in terms of like things that i'm gonna film but you know march is right around the corner so let me know if you got something you want me to film and i'm gonna get it done below okay uh this brush was such a good investment like it's bomb when it comes to contour i feel like now i know how to contour i've been saying i don't know how to contour for the longest but this brush does it for me okay uh we love a smooth canvas baby what do you mean pretty bitch you know why i do a bitch ah that's my song that's my theme song right now y'all cali on who my makeup not about to come out fire like you can't tell me it's not i just know it i'm already knowing okay i'm already knowing okay mm-hmm yes ma'am this is like uh i feel like a lot of people have probably been doing this but i just started so basically when i mess up my contour i know it's not a tutorial to chit chat but i gotta put y'all oh i gotta explain what i'm doing for the people who have never seen me do this which is all y'all okay because it's the first time i'm really doing it i'm gonna clean up my contour with a little bit of the concealer and toffee that matches my skin tone the most and i'm gonna go over it with the brush that i put on um foundation with just to make it blend so it's not looking too light down here instead of putting powder because powder to me just gets cakey and we don't want that so i'm gonna clean it up and then you make it look not as noticeable by going over it with your contour brush and then boom on who that's not like snatchy on her and it still matches your skin like period you can't tell me that don't work this pimple right here either came from my menstrual cycle or me stressing last night so let me tell y'all what the freak i was stressing about y'all and i blame y'all okay because why y'all ain't tell me that my quality on youtube wasn't as good as like the regular regular videos that like everybody posts you know what i'm saying like when you go to the little settings wheel on a youtube video you will notice that you can change the quality of the video so it gives you from 360 or 380p to 1080p which is an hd y'all all my videos are like 360p and i'm the type of youtuber that once i post the video i'm gone i post it i don't look back i i dip out okay i go to my analytics to see how my views are doing but i don't like actually sit and watch my own videos so i never really knew like as a viewer what the content looked like i was trusting y'all to let a girl know if my stuff was yay or nay it's definitely nay except for videos that have done really really well hmm and that's confusing to me okay because basically except for all of my old videos because i used to save those and publish those in a different way so i used to save them to my computer and i would upload them to youtube separately and it took so long for the video to finally get on youtube so then i realized let me just directly post to youtube so when you directly post to youtube from movie not movie maker iMovie um it doesn't give you the option to like pick what what resolution you want for your video now i know that i film all my stuff with a very very expensive ass sony sd-1 com uh not computer 
camera, okay? That's what I get for going in. <laughs> Messing up the name, but I know that I have good quality. I know I always film with good lighting. I know I do my part, basically. So, I'm just confused as to why my videos don't look like I'm not using an $800 camera, you know what I'm saying? So, I think I realized the problem. I need to stop posting directly to YouTube. Now, that's going to irritate the freak out of me because I stopped downloading my videos to my computer and doing it directly to YouTube in the first place because it takes up so much storage. Hopefully, this time I don't have the same problem because now I have an uh, external hard drive where I put all of my where I put all of my content at but the other issue is it just takes so long like right now I'm trying to upload this day in a life video which was part of the video that you saw before this one um it's taking all day I woke up today at 8 30 that's another thing that I've been doing lately is waking up at uh earlier times just to get more out of the day child it's let's see what percentage is on right now it just now got to 90 percent and I'm, ex I'm so happy that it's finally at 90 percent but y'all it is currently 428 and as soon as I woke up today got myself together I started uploading this video so like it's a, it should never be an all day all day test you know what I'm saying so like do y'all see what I mean when I say sometimes you got to take a mental break from posting and doing stuff for YouTube because it takes a toll on your mental girl like don't have me over here stressing about my content and taking all day to upload a simple video like that video is like 14 minutes long like stop playing with me <laughs> yes snatch me up sis snatch me up sis Y'all be talking to myself. Do y'all talk to yourself? Tell me in the comments below, okay? You my friend, so let me know. Because I do it too, so ain't, ain't no shame in my game. Y'all, what else I've been doing? Okay, so I had so many, like, New Year's resolutions. And I actually been sticking to them. And I'm so, so, so proud of myself. So one of them was to read more. So I don't know if it was just me. But in high school, y'all, I was stuck on stupid on these books called the Blueprint series. <laughs> And y'all, y'all probably like, oh lord, she was one of them girls. Yes, sis, I was one of them girls, okay? Because them books is bomb. Like, they just always juicy from, like, beginning to end. Like, I can read them nonstop. So, you know, I got Amazon Prime. So, Amazon Prime, you get, like, the Prime books for the free free. And... My man put me onto this link, which allows you to like read every book in the world, damn near. You know what I'm saying? So both of them had the blue for series. No, no, Amazon Prime didn't have the blue for series, but the other link does. If y'all want it, I'll try to remember and put the link in the description box below. Definitely comment, ask for it to remind me, because I'm probably gonna forget. But y'all, I read um. I read two books already. I read Someone to Love Me and I read Bully. This Bully was my favorite and I never read Someone to Love Me until now. And I be finishing them books in like 50 minutes. Like, they so good. It's just dumb how good they are. Like, but um, I also plan on starting, um, well, I already read it in college. Things Fall Apart. Y'all, okay, so when I was in high school, I don't understand why this was very, very irritating to me but one of my high school teachers had all the males in the class read things fall apart and all the women had to read like water for chocolate and I was still boops because I wanted to read things fall apart you know when she when she summarized the book and she told everybody what we we're gonna be reading I'm like, girl, I'm gonna read that, but just because I'm not a boy, I can't read it, and I gotta read this thinking like water for chocolate. Like, I'm not gonna say like water for chocolate was a good book, but golly, like, let me read what I want to read. Why are you spilling me that because of gender? You know what I'm saying? So, I always tell myself, I'm gonna read that book, I'm gonna read that book because I wanna know what it's about. So, not gonna lie, I kind of forgot about it. Went to college, and. Here we have it, my teacher, my professor in modern Africa. 
made me read the book and I fell in love with the book, okay? A Conqua. A Conqua. That's, that's my book, okay? So I'm reading it again with my man. We're book partners. We do little things like that. Um, just to keep just to keep each other accountable for things. So yeah, I'm excited to be reading that today. So let me get into this eyeliner honey because it's like do i want to do exactly what she did i don't know y'all i think i'm just gonna freak this i'm gonna put on some music i'm gonna i'm gonna scurry through this part of the tutorial or the chit chat because i don't want to mess up and i know myself if i'm talking i'm gonna mess up so <sighs> i'm play some music <laughs> Okay, I think this is cute. Let me get close. I think this is cute. It's different. It's very much so different. You know what I'm saying? Like, different from me, sis. Different from me, okay? So, I think I'm going to finish the look off with some mascara, some lashes, and keep it pushing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited for these lashes that I got, y'all. Um, and I think I got the perfect ones for this look because I don't want any lashes that are too big because it's going to take away from all the line work we just did. You know what I'm saying? So, the La Flare 3D Foam Ink Lashes are my fave from like my local beauty supplier because they only $3.99 each, okay? And I think I'm going to wear this number today. Because they're kind of short for me. Because I like long, big blanks. You know what I'm saying? And these are kind of short. I knew I was going to do some, like, extravagant eye makeup. So, these are perfect. I just can't open the dang one thing. They be making sure you don't steal nothing from the blue supply mask. Swear to God. So. I'm going to pop these babies on off camera. And I'm going to come right back. Okay, so I'm back and this is what the eyes looking like. I added the lashes that I showed you guys earlier. Some mascara to the bottom lashes and a little bit of white eyeliner on the lower lash line as well. If you can see, baby, my face, that's what we looking like and I'm excited. The last thing to do is the lip and I'm kind of confused on what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in first with NYX Espresso. I usually go in with dark brown first, but that's too dark for this look. Oh my god, yeah, this mustache is a problem, baby. <laughs> you can really see a mustache when you put on makeup. And then I have two that are like light brown. I don't know if you can see. One is MAC in the color Oak. And the other one is NYX and Suede. I'm going to try Oak first. I think it's going to be too light, though. So, y'all, I'm trying Oak on. And she's like a browner version of my lip color. Like my natural lip color, so let me see what this NYX suede in Sandstorm is talking about. This is cute. This is cute. This is cute. This is cute. I like this. <laughs> oh shit. I like this lip. I like this lip. It's very light, and that's what I wanted for this look because like the the lip needs to be like very subtle i'm thinking i'm just gonna top it with clear because i like the color so this is clear nyx nick gel girl this is not supposed to get some for you but y'all know i get excited when i do the new lip combos okay so the liner i mean the lip gloss made it a little darker because it really mixed in the espresso so i'm gonna put a little bit of my concealer in the center girl with a different brush just in the center you gotta blend like crazy okay you can't tell but it's not a look let me brush my pony look at the look girls we got ah 
this is cute i'm feeling it so i think i'm going to change my top from this robe and put on something girl i don't know what but we're gonna figure it out and i'm gonna come back because this is basically after this video so i'm gonna be back in just a second okay okay you guys so quick little switch up and what y'all think what y'all think let me get a little closer so y'all can see what the fuck is up okay ah okay her period Periana. you know what i'm saying even my little pimple bitch i'm still cute okay her get into it get into it real quick yes yes i'm talking to you you girl get into it because what I look good, pretty, okay? Pretty. So let me stop tagging myself up. Okay, sometimes when you ain't with your face in a little minute, you'll be feeling like that girl, okay, sis, as you should. So, with all that being said, that wraps up this video. Thank you so, so much for tuning in, okay? And if you watched throughout the whole entire video, I love you. All right, so thank y'all for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see from me next, and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna give it to you, okay? Her, my mama's. <laughs> Look good. Hold it, got the dumpy, yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch? On it, on it, on it, on it.